Education, education, here's what you, which, here's what you have going on. I pull out our, our little handy dandy model and just kind of, you know, explain to them, this is the left side of your mandible, right? Here's the acoustic matus of your ear. You know, normally when we open and close, normal ranges, you know, I'll tell them to about the apex of something called the articular eminence, this portion of your uh, bone, the temporal bone in your skull. When you go, in your case, what ha what's occurring is you're going on the other side of that ski slope and it's getting just a little bit stuck. And because this is more of a bony articulation, it'll sound a little bit different. Uh, a, a disc click is a very discreet uh, pop or click, right? And also remember, uh, the opening and the closing click are in different points of the range. So this person will experience a very extreme end range opening click. And then I'll explain to them, you know, then that's why they have to maneuver their jaw a little bit differently, basically to get it unstuck. And then they revert back to their normal position. But I explained to them that, right, we want to learn how to control that uh, because you're overstretching your ligaments, right? It's kind of like the kid who comes in your clinic with shoulder instability. They're like, oh, yeah, look at my fun party trick, right? And they're always subluxating their shoulder for fun. I mean, you really want to discourage that, I assume, right, at some point. I mean, it's traumatic inside the joint. You're further overstretching those ligaments, right? Maybe going to cause some heart root damage, that type of thing. So first of all, just them knowing uh, is helpful. I tend to find they come from clinicians who told them they have a disc issue, which again, this, they could have a disc issue as well, but generally it's a hypermobility issue going on. <clears throat> so then that's where we go back to the basics, the controlled mouth opening, getting that tongue up in the nice position. And I'll teach them, when you have your tongue up and you open, what's that range? That's roughly the size food you should be putting in your mouth. So you may have to start to cut your food pieces a little bit smaller. Uh, if you love apples, they have to slice their apples into smaller pieces, or if somebody's really, you know, seriously systemic hypermobile, they may need to just convert to applesauce, right? All of their vegetables need to be steamed. So your carrots, your broccoli, your cauliflower, right? They can't afford those hard forces. Uh, just think about other joint areas like the thumb and other parts of the body that you would want to protect. This is no different here. Again, we don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell someone that, well, if you don't do this, right, you know, you're going to be miserable. We don't know that. But it makes common sense, I think, that it's something we want to do to preserve the life of the joint and to reduce any trauma to it, like the Jimmy John subs, right? Or, oh my God, we were at uh, Cologne, 